What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, yeah, we caught Cresselia, and, uh, well, that was a trip. I learned from my mistakes, and now, we are, well, we're gonna capture one of the Emotion Pokemon right here, since we are close in Moss Deep City. Now, remember, the Emotion Pokemon are a little more different to capture than, uh, than most Pokemon right here. It all depends on the time of the day that you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna try and capture these guys. So, what I'm gonna do right now, it is currently 5 o'clock where I'm at, which is a Pacific, uh, standard time and all that stuff. So, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna try and see what happens now. Uh, I will be having these episodes in separate, you know, occasions and all that stuff because, uh, yeah, I don't know what time, uh, what day I will be capturing these Pokemon. So as you can see, we are close to the Nameless Cavern. That is exactly where you're going to be finding the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Emotion Pokemon from Sinnoh. I'm sorry if I'm naming them wrong or anything, but that, that's how I learned what they are and all that crud. So, here it is, guys, the Nameless Cavern. You're going to be coming here possibly two, three times just to capture these guys. And before we do anything, oh, well, I thought there was an item right there. Yeah, okay, so clear air surrounds the area. It's lifting your spirits. Okay, so as you can see, you got the little, uh, the little uh, diagram right here that you once saw over in Pokemon uh, Platinum. And you'll be finding one of these uh, circles here, these little portals, just to capture one of these Pokemon. So now, like I said, in our last episode, we did capture Cresselia. I made a few mistakes. Didn't necessarily give it a status effect for uh, to capture it. Just threw a buttload of timer balls. But this time around, I actually learned my lesson. So, let's see which Pokemon is hiding into this hole right here. And, uh, alrighty. Oh, damn. And, well, here we have Mesprit, the, one of the emotional Pokemon from Sinnoh. Now, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right here into uh, Google, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna inform you guys what's going on right here. So, the Nameless, hold on just a sec, Nameless Cavern, Cavern Times, okay. So, the Nameless Cavern. You'll find three of the Emotion Pokemon right here, and, well, let's see, it's it's reminiscent to the Variety Cavern, Valor Cavern, and Acuity Cavern, back when, uh, you know, the Mysterious Ring and all that stuff, too. So, the way you can actually find these Pokemon is very simple, guys. From 4 a.m. to 7.59 p.m., you'll be able to find Mesprit. At 8 p.m. to 8.59 p.m., you'll be finding, uh, hold on just a sec, uh, Ooxie. That's right, you'll find Uxie at, at 8.59. That's just one whole hour, guys. And then, at 9 p.m. to 9, or 3.59 a.m., you'll be finding, what was it, uh, Azul. So, as you can probably tell, it is a little, it, it, you have to make some time to actually try and find these Pokemon. So, right now, I'm actually lucky enough to actually find uh, Mesprit, but right around 8 p.m., 9 p.m., it's, uh, it's just a whole mess of, uh, mess of stuff. So. Right now, we're going to be capturing Mesprit right here, and we're going to try and use a Thunder Wave since we are faster than these guys. Most of these Pokemon that you're going to be battling, all level 50. Maybe some are not. So look at that. He is uh, paralyzed, and hopefully we do not make this guy faint, because if we do, then, uh, well, that's uh, your SOL right there. So that is why we have Pokemon around that level. So we're going to go with Tank right here. And remember, Mesprit is a psychic type Pokemon, so ghost types, dark types, bug types, yeah, be careful. Don't use those guys. So we're going to take this out, and of course, you're going to be coming out with a future site. Now, I did say that I will be, uh, you know, separating these episodes for the emotional Pokemon because of the times. Uh, this is mainly because of, uh, well, my schedule right now. It is currently Thursday as I'm recording this, and, well... I don't necessarily have, I don't necessarily have any time at 8, yeah, at 8 p.m., and oh man, almost made him faint, but I do have time from 9 all the way to 3 a.m., so that is probably going to be, well, uh, Azulf is going to be a different story for later on, so now, now that we got uh, Azulf or Mesprit all, you know, paralyzed and all that crud, so we're just going to start throwing some timer balls right here, come on. Stay in there. Ah, damn it. 
So these Pokemon are gonna be they're, they're gonna be very very stingy for you guys. So make sure to have a Pokemon that is uh, you know a tank like this guy. That's why I named him Tank. A tanky Pokemon. Just be strategic, guys. As you can see, throwing timer balls at this guy. They're, those are the most effective ones to actually get them in. And damn it, nearly caught this guy. Oh, you're really messing with my emotions right now. Hence the emotional Pokemon. Giggity. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. Okay, so let's go with another timer ball right here. We really don't have anything else to do except for just tank them and uh, throw balls at them. And, well, here comes its charm attack. It should it probably should have used that before we started throwing it. You know, some body slam attacks and Well, the lucky chant has worn off. Let's go ahead and use another uh, timer ball right here. Now, in my last episode, I, I realized that, yeah, I used the master ball on, uh, what was it? On the oxes. Yes! Okay, so there it is, guys. We caught ourselves mesprit. Yeah, buddy. What now? I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Now, these Pokemon are just hard to actually capture, so... There we go, guys. We caught ourselves Mesprit right here. Look at this. The Emotion Pokemon Mesprit. It is a Psychic-type Pokemon. One foot, seven ounces. Very, very light Pokemon. Doesn't stay on its feet or anything. Look at those little nubs. Known as the being of emotion, it taught humans the nobility of sorrow, pain, and joy. Pretty good Pokemon right there. No, I am not going to nickname him or anything like that. So that makes another legendary Pokemon done. Now, again, I remind you guys that you have to actually come back here two more times to actually capture the other legendary Pokemon, Azulf and, uh, well, Azulf and Mesprit. So again, from, let's see, from 4 a.m. to 7.59 p.m., you'll be able to capture Mesprit. From 8 p.m. to 8.59 p.m., you'll be able to capture Uxi. And from 9 p.m. to 3.59 a.m., you'll be able to capture Azulf. The hardest Pokemon to actually try and find is, of course, Uxie because, you know, it's only one hour. So, the next Pokemon that I will try and capture in the next episode is going to be Azulf. And then after that, within the next coming days, I'm, you know, going to try and capture Uxie and all that stuff. So, again, keep that in mind, guys. I will let, I'll put that in the description below. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys... Uh... Oh, actually, hold on. Before I, before I do anything, okay... There is one thing, one thing that you can't do, especially when it comes to trying to capture these time-based Pokemon. If you try and switch the time onto your 3DS, it will reset everything by one day. So basically meaning you're going to have to wait a full day in order to capture these Pokemon. So let's just say you want to capture uh, uh, Uxie and you try to switch it to the time that it's supposed to come out. Won't work, guys. So don't even try that. So again, it's a little bit of a waiting game. And, uh, well, that's pretty much all I have to say right here. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you for the next episode when we try and capture, what's his face, uh, Mesprit? No, we already captured Mesprit. Asshole, I think. I don't even know. We're going to try, uh, try and capture one of these guys. So, again, thank you guys. See you. Alrighty, so let's see what is, uh, let's see what is going to appear right now. Uh, it is 10.30 right now, as I'm currently recording this, and the Nameless Path, or Nameless Cavern, or whatever it is, it's reopened again, right here next to, yeah, the Nameless Cavern, so it has opened again, so I'm assuming a new, a new Pokemon has appeared. Gotta open it. It's not, it's the, well, gotta open it's the, it's another, new, it's a new one right here, so... Here we are back in a nameless cavern, and as you probably already remember, we already captured a Pokemon right here, and uh, clear air surrounds the area, making you feel strong. Okay, so it looks like we are ready to capture a new Pokemon right here. So, let's see, 10.30, I would have to assume it's 21.30. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to save the game, and, well... Wishes good luck. Let's see who's inside this hole right here. So let's put our hand in this hole. Giggity. Alrighty. Let's see who it is. And it's Azulf. Azulf. How, how, however you guys like to say it right here. So, yeah. Azulf, the... I don't remember what, what name is the Pokemon right here. So Azulf is one of the three uh, emotion Pokemon right here. Uh, as you probably already know, we captured Mesprit in the beginning. Azulf is the second one right here. Now, if you guys remember, Uxie, you can actually find it between 20 and 21 hours. 
Uh, Azov, of course, 21 to 359, and Mesprit between 4 and 1959. So I kind of missed my gap right there, or yeah, I kind of missed my time to actually capture uh, Uxie, but eventually, you know, you'll see it right here. Uxie's usually the one Pokemon that really uh, just like annoys the crap out of me, so. Here we go, Thunder uh, Thunder Wave, just to paralyze this guy. Is he, if you guys already know, this guy is already a Psychic-type Pokemon, so yeah, he is going to be special attacking you every step of the way. And uh, like always, we're going to be using our same Pokemon, Tank, ready to just body slam the crud out of him. Remember, most of these legendary Pokemon are at level 50, so uh, yeah, just be aware of that don't want to have them over leveled because uh, they, these Pokemon only appear one time so here we go with the body slam hopefully this doesn't make this Pokemon faint and that nearly yeah that that nearly takes him out so we're gonna be switching out tank and we're gonna go straight to fluff blade someone that you know can actually give him a little bit of a weaker attack right here so here we go fluff blade and as I'll still paralyzed so this is pretty good it's a good uh, good uh you know whatever so let's go ahead and use aerial ac if this has a, this doesn't make him faint and uh, wow nearly makes him faint right there okay alrighty so luckily for me i bought some more timer balls because uh yeah i've been struggling to capture a lot of pokemon right here so here we go with one timer ball come on stay in the ball damn it azulf is just like is just making it hard for me now luckily for me I did not equip any of me uh, any of my Pokemon with like a rocky helmet because that would have been bad right there so here we go again timer ball help me out man come on come on there it is one oh you suck okay and you're still paralyzed you are still paralyzed here we go come on stay in the ball Stay in the Pokeball, you a-hole Pokemon you. That's two, three. Oh, <laughs> nearly caught him. We nearly caught him, guys. Don't worry. This guy is giving me hope. Let's try it again. Here we go. Another timer ball. Please, let this be the one. Okay, come on. And no, it just, uh, yeah, he just laughed at me. He's like, I gave you hope. I'm laughing at you right now, and uh, Fluff Blade is about to get, yeah, it's about to faint, so let's, come on, let's make this happen. Come on, Fluff Blade. One, two, three, come on! Yes! Whew! Okay! Alrighty! And there it is, guys, the second uh, emotion Pokemon from Unova, or no, from Sinnoh. And Fluff Blade grows the level 56. That is its reward. Good, good, good. And everybody else mooching off the points and all that stuff. And Azulf is going into the Pokedex right here. So uh, there you go. Azulf, the willpower Pokemon. It is a psychic type Pokemon. One feet, seven ounces, I think. Known as the being of willpower, it sleeps at the bottom of the lake keep, uh, to keep the world at the, in balance. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. And no, I will not give you a nickname because you are a legendary Pokemon yourself right there. Okay, guys. So, it's going to take me a while. It is currently 1032. So, right now, I've already... I guess I've already surpassed the time that I was supposed to capture... What's his face? Um, uh, Uxie or whatever his name is. So... Bear with me, guys. We're going to get them. It's just going to take me a while. So I'll be right back for the final uh, final motion Pokemon right here of Sinnoh. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys. So we're finally here. It is finally time to take on the last of the motion Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, it took me quite a while. It is currently 8.30 as I'm currently recording this, this episode right here on a Sunday. And, uh, yeah, this is the only time you'll ever, well, the only hour that you'll ever be able to get this Pokemon right here. That's why it makes him so elusive. A mysterious ring is floating in the air. Something is visible deep in the hole, Giggity. Would you like to put your hand deep in that hole? Giggity, yes. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead. I already saved my game, I already healed up my Pokemon, and here it is, guys. The last of the emotion Pokemon. Oopsie. And, uh, again... Wow, holy crud, I'm getting messages. So, as you guys probably already know, you can only capture Uxie at 8 o'clock every single day. 
for me, it was kind of a, yeah, it was kind of like a mission because, yes, good old Draven still has like part time, like you know, he, he still has clients coming in around that time and all that crud. And uh, well, luckily for me, it is currently Sunday, so it, uh, yeah, it is, uh, it has become a little easier for me to get here on time and all that stuff. Now the other, the other thing was that I was probably going to be doing it at my workplace, but uh, my 3DS, uh, the internet there is not compatible with my 3DS right here. So, yeah, I was SOL. I had to do, I had to switch up a lot of things just to get to this guy right here, and uh, Uxie cannot move. Hopefully, it does not faint right here. So, let's go right ahead with the patented body slam right here. Look at this. Body slam for the win. Not much, and thankfully, this guy is using amnesia, so this will raise up its special defense just a little bit. So, if we were to go for you know something special, it won't make it faint, and uh, well, it still can't move. So, let's see. I'm gonna th I'm gonna start throwing uh, some uh, timer balls right here because you know what? Uh, me hitting it physically one last time, it, it's just again, I'm very, 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 very superstitious about this whole thing. So there we go. That's two. Come on, baby. And no, you are still asleep. So it is not moving. This Pokemon is not moving at all. So let's go right ahead and do it again. Timer ball. Let's go. Right here. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. You know you want to be in the ball. Two. Ah, oh, damn. Well, to me, it kind of sounds like this Pokemon's going to be, uh... Well, it's not going to be easy, but it's just going to be a Pokemon in itself that's just going to, you know, prove difficult. It's going to, you know, raise my, uh... Yeah, it's going to raise... It's going to raise my, my, my hopes just a little bit. So here we go. That's one. That's two. Come on, man! You got to be with me. What the hell? No! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so that that was scary. So we're still we're still connected to the uh, we're still connected somehow. So we're gonna try and capture this guy right now. Come on, timer ball, work for it. Let's go, let's go. Damn it! Oh god, this is really really scaring me right now. So here comes a foreseen attack, and yes, my uh, good old buddy Tank is asleep. Well, you know what? It deserves to be asleep. It's probably a good thing, you know? It needed a nap, fainted in the last one. So here we go again with another timer ball. Come on, baby. Stay in the ball. Damn it! Okay, so that, that that's not really working out right now. So let's go right again. Timer ball. Let's go. Yeah, come on. Come on. One, two, three. Come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, Oopsie, you suck. And, of course, we're going to be taking that future sight. Not going to be a big thing. It's six of us against one of it. And, uh, well, for me, it's like I'm not trying to uh, make it faint here. I'm trying to capture this guy. And it's not letting me. And I only got, like, 26 minutes left right here. So I got to capture him right now or, you know, we are SOL right here. So here we go. Actually, technically, I got like, well, this game is like two minutes ahead, so technically I got 24 minutes, and, uh, ah, crud. All right, so let's go again. Another timer ball for this win. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. That's one, and you suck. Okay. So chances are I might I might want to use a, a special attack since it did raise up its defense just a little. It's special defense, I should say. One, two, come on, three. There it is, there it is. Yes! Woo! There you go, guys. There you go. We captured the final of the emotion Pokemon, the lake Pokemon that you would normally see in Sinnoh. Okay, let's see if we can get its, uh, its, uh, its data right here. Oh, we can. Okay, so there it is. Oopsie, the knowledge Pokemon. It is a psychic type Pokemon. It is very, very small. One foot, seven ounces. Known as the being of knowledge, it is said that it can it can wipe out the memory of those who see its size. Really? Oh, well, well that that right there is scary. Okay, so the internet went off on my on my thing right here. So it's yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be fun transitioning back so uh, I will be right back uh, for the conclusion of this whole thing right here guys alrighty guys so here we are back into the uh, Pokemon Center right here and I just want to show you the three Pokemon that you will find in uh, Sinnoh, Azulf, uh, Mesprit, and Uxie right here 
So let's go right ahead and take a look at these summaries. And as you can see, this is Azulf right here, the psychic type Pokemon. It has Levitate just like it's a, uh, you know, its counterparts right here. And here we have, uh, let's see, who's the next one? Mesprit. Mesprit, of course, also a psychic type Pokemon. Does have better stats than the next one. And uh, here we have, uh, oopsie, the most difficult of all of them. You know, it took us quite a while to just find this guy, but, you know, we were patient, we were awesome about it, and it, everything's good. So now, like I said, uh, like I said, uh, well, I don't know, I don't remember what I said. I, I know I'm going to be saying it in uh, the next few episodes right here, guys, but not all of these legendary Pokemon capturings are going to be in order. I'm just going to be placing them from, you know, region or, you know, Pokemon and all that stuff. So in the next episode, we will be seeing what happens when you have all three of these Pokemon on our team. It's going to be fun, guys. It's going to be very, very fun. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.